All right, thanks for having me. Hi, Ted. Hey, hi, Paul. Yeah, so my name is Ted. Um, I'm part of the marketing team at Ray America. We're here at IDS 2023, presenting on Rayface, our latest 3D facial scan solution. Um, and I'm part of Ray uh, Conglomerate, which is a, a company based out of Korea. We actually provide a solution from A to Z. We tend to be a total solution provider, meaning from scan to design software, to the actual creation production purposes, scan, design, make, we cover the entire spectrum. So that being the case, I'm gonna introduce you Rayface. This is our latest and the greatest product. So the secret sauce isn't just the hardware. So the hardware, the 3D facial scan has six camera units. So in less than a second, you can capture most natural smile of a patient. But not only that, real secret sauce is the software. Now the software is an AI-based automatic merging. So what that means is this. You can bring in various sets of data from internal scan of the patient's upper and lower in this case and the CT scan data, those are optional. You can bring them in and then using the AI-based automatic merging with a single click, you can align all these disparate sets of data which would have taken a long, long time in the past. Now we pare that down, the process, into mere seconds. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Now, as you can see, here's a 3D facial scan of the patient. And the blue outline is the intro scan of this patient. And I can show you how the alignment is done. So I'm going to bring the intro scan out of alignment, off kilter, and then watch carefully. If I click on automatic AI-based merging button, there you go. In just a few seconds, right? And not only that, hardware-wise, I got to touch on the hardware too. This thing, I got to tell you, 3D facial scanner has been around since 2006, at least, starting with the uh, Plumeca Proface. Now, that being the case, there are dozens, dozens of 3D facial scanners out there, but this thing can do what all the other 3D facial scanners cannot. What it can is this. You can after, capture very accurate dentition profile. With the, all the other 3D facial scan, what happens is the dentition profile is caved in. Reason for that is 3D facial scanners are tr traditionally meant for dermatology or plastic surgery purposes. It's not really meant for teeth. So this is, for the very first time, have a device that's purpose made for dental use. Okay? So thanks for coming. Paul, and thank you so much for this opportunity.